Hello and welcome back to BJA Today and I'm BJ Arnett. I have to say I'm smiling so hard because I have this incredibly adorable face next to me, Miss Selena Smith. You've seen her with Tyler Perry's Dylan, but also The Lion King and so many other things. She is a precious woman. You are just crazy adorable. Like I want to like pinch your cheeks and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. You are really a really sweet little girl. Thank Talk so to much. us about how in the world you keep that sweetness and be in such an incredibly vast industry. Really, I have to say it's my parents. They always remind me to stay humble and to stay true to who I am. And I just make sure to follow that because it's so important to keep my soul alive. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So. Yes, yes. There is an important thing to recognize when you have parents that are pouring into you a good word, a good way to live, and being that example in front of you. When you get out there in the industry and you're singing and you're dancing and, and things uh, and, and you're getting scripts in front of you, there's decisions that are not 13-year-old decisions that have to be made. How do you go about handling that? I think the best way to go about making choices on the screen is just to really try to relate to the character mm -hmm. because you have to kind of take yourself out of your shoes and put yourself into their shoes. Mm -hmm. And it's weird, like, kind of breaking away from that mindset and entering your, like, it's a whole experience, really, like, taking yourself out, out of here and putting it into somebody else's space and exactly. time. Exactly. Putting, basically just putting yourself into somebody else's shoes. Yes. Um, I just really try to embody the character as best I can and really study the script as best I can as well. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so I've got to ask you because I know every little girl who is watching right now, what's it like to work with Tyler Perry? <laughs> He is really, really cool to work with. I remember the first day I was on set, I was so, so scared because this show was one of my first shows I had ever done in my life. And I was 10 years old when we started. I'm going on 14 now. So, wow. <laughs> I was 10 year old when we started. So, this, this is like a four year journey. But I remember walking onto that set and seeing him. I was like, like, I don't know if you watch the first episode but you can see in the very first scene my leg is just shaking because you were because so I nervous was so nervous <laughs> I could not stop my leg from shaking but he's just super cool to be around and he's so fun and it's really cool working with him if you would tell any person no matter what age what it was like to start off in this craft to maintain it and then to see yourself at this point of the journey working with one of the top producer, directors in the country, what would you say? I started doing this when I was about seven years old. So this has been a long, kind of long, not really, sort of. <laughs> so, sort of, yes. Sort of. For uh, your life, yeah, yes it is. For my, for my, yeah. Uh, so between seven and 13, the main thing that I would have to say is to if you feel like it's not getting fun anymore, mm. take a break. Because there were so many points and moments that I was just like, Mom, it's Dad, a lot. It's, this is just a lot. And I want to be so honest with you right now. Like, it is it's it is a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Having to embody characters yes. every week, it's, 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 it's a, a lot. lot for your mental. So my advice for, you know, is to stay true like my parents said stay true to yourself and if you feel like it's not getting fun anymore then take a break I can't even I couldn't pick a better ending if it's not fun anymore take a break because what you give to that camera has to give something to the person on the other side of the camera yes. right exactly. I want to thank you. Thank you. You are being honored tonight. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. I'm excited for you. I've been practicing my speech with my stuffed animals <laughs> since last week. Well, you are a rising star with Women in Film and Television Atlanta, so we are excited to watch your journey. Thank you so God so has much. blessed you tremendously, young lady. Mm -hmm.
handle that. And I, I see it. You are handling it well. Thank you so, graciously. so much. Graciously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is really very, very cool. Thank you so, so much. Thank you guys for joining us. If you don't know her, you need to write her name down. It is Selena Smith. That's Miss Selena Smith. We'll be back.